um, since the time off, since then, that is, to me, I forgot all about it, to be honest. Kyle, uh, Kyle, I'm sorry, Gabe. I'm, it's okay, I'm honored. I'll take yeah. that. <laughs> That's a compliment. So you already have a championship, now you're going for another one. Right. The moment when they called that whistle and, and, and they went to the table, what was your feeling at the time when they had to do that review then? Uh, my man, I didn't know what happened. Once right. I saw the replay, I said, I guess I caught him. I thought there was a foul before that could have been right. called that wasn't, but um, that's the game, and um, luckily we were able to pull it out despite the, the two free throws in the ball. And does that say something also about this team? I mean, there's been so many moments when guys have done things for other guys, you know what I mean? Whether it's uh, other guys struggling at times, injured and out, that your teammates were there, Bam was there for defensive plays, Kyle was there for the defensive plays, that it's just a bunch of guys, don't worry, we got you sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's a very selfless group, uh, mm -hmm. all in all, a very selfless group in a, in a room full of competitors, so, um, you know, if someone falls, Someone's there to pick him up and so forth. What did it feel like dribbling out the end of the game? That game like this close out game. Uh, it, it was nice to hear that final buzzer ring and, and see us up up, uh, up more than them and, and the series closed. How, how much how much do you think got an arm on that random uh, I just did our principles. That was my rotation to make, and, and I made the rotation. And um, I don't know who came up with the ball, but uh, but you know it all worked out for us. Even last year, obviously you and Max and the young guys showed poise. But how much did that experience help settle you guys even further in this run? Is it? Are there any nerves at all left for you because you've been through this before? Yeah, I mean the the experience is invaluable. It's priceless. Um, so definitely thankful for that. And, um, you know, we're just going to try to use it and, and most importantly learn from our mistakes that we made in the past. Um, and move it forward. Gabe, a lot of guys in this room talked about at some point we'll get on a run. Like even when you guys were struggling at points of the season, we'll get on a run. But for it to happen now, and for you guys to be right back where you were last season after everything you've been through, I know there's not a lot of time for reflection, but it's a pretty I, good achievement. Isn't I'd it? say that it's a uh, perfect time. Perfect time. You know, you don't want to be make your run too early in the year. Uh, and obviously our regular season could have been better and we feel like you know we could have been better uh, but you know we got in most importantly we got into the playoffs and we were making plays and do you feel like guys are trusting each other more now than at any stage of the season um, maybe a little bit Maybe a little bit. I think we just continue to come closer and closer together. Okay, you guys have to pound this, but were you, were you a hockey fan before this, or is this just sort of a new? That was my first hockey game okay. going to. You know, I'm just proud to support a local team. Gabe, you guys have secured your spot in the Eastern Conference Finals. Are you looking forward to a possible rematch against Boston, or would you rather match up with Philly? Uh, we'll see who wins their game. Man, I'm just looking forward to, to the next round and the next step and uh, one step closer to our ultimate goal. After that Atlanta loss in the play-in, Spo said that when he came in for that next film session, you kind of could see, like in the guy's eyes, that all right, we're, things are going to be all right. What, what was that session like? Or just, what was the mood of the team coming out of that game and going into the rest of this? Um, you know, I don't, the play-in hasn't been around that long, right? So to go from going in at the seventh seed and then to be knocked out, I think we just had a little more pride in that.